In your first alert forecast, today it was lovely, and you may remember last weekend started with a whole lot of rain. It was just an ugly day. Meteorologist Rachel Coulter is here to let us know how different this weekend will look. And that's exactly right. It's going to be so different. We won't have to worry about any Goodness. rain, no storms either, and it's you know going to be pretty comfortable too. Awesome. Seasonable temperatures. I could go on and on. Now it won't be as warm as what we had today. I know we were near 70 degrees. We are going to be about 10 degrees cooler in the afternoon hours and colder in the mornings too. I know I was talking about the afternoon high temperatures earlier, but we woke up around 40 degrees this morning and the next couple of mornings we're back to the 30s, but at least we're expecting dry conditions. Even that low pressure system that we have been talking about all week long looks to stay south of the area. Now, right now we have a cold front moving overhead. You would never know. We have no rain associated with this, barely any cloud cover. That's now pushing south and a colder air mass is building in out of the north. So here's where this leaves us with these clear, calm conditions heading into the overnight period and that colder air working in. We're going to be waking up in the 30s across the area, 32 and below. So at or below freezing from about I-40 points northwestward and then 35 degrees is our forecast low temperature in Charlotte. That'll be replaced by the 50s by the afternoon hours in mid to upper 50s. So I think a good portion of your afternoon will be mild, if not a little on the warm side with those high temperatures back in the 50s, right around 50 degrees if you're listening in from our higher elevation. So that's your Saturday. Lots of sunshine, dry conditions. Sunday similar, but there's a few differences. You'll notice a little bit more cloud cover as the day goes on on Sunday, especially high clouds. So some filtered sunshine at times and then our southern counties will get some low clouds in there as well. It's also going to be a little colder to start off the morning hours, so keep that in mind getting to breakfast and church plans, waking up right around 32 degrees even in the Charlotte Metro. Let's talk about Sunday. I mentioned the cloud cover. Here's nine o'clock in the morning dry again no need for the rain gear but there's the clouds that are going to be lifting from south to north over the course of the day and that's about it winds will pick up a little bit on monday but most of that rain should stay to our south we really have lowered those rain chances into the start of next week now if you're going to be traveling anywhere maybe down towards florence or charleston southeastern portions of south carolina certainly out towards atlanta georgia that's where you're going to have a better chance of rain so definitely grab the first alert weather app and have that location follow you can check radar even if you're traveling especially if you're traveling to the south looking ahead into next week just looking at trends there's a couple things you'll notice one very limited rain chances. You've got that 20% on Monday and Friday. It's just going to be warming up. Afternoon high temperatures back into the low to mid 60s by the time we get towards Thursday and Friday next week. Even morning low temperatures going from the 30s most of the seven day to the mid 40s. Friday morning we'll have more news updates for you just after the break.